All right, and we are live, UFC 248, Fight Conversations. I'm Lex Las Vegas. We're waiting on Trez Mala. Here he is. We got the Sean O'Malley fight against Jose Quintones right now. Excited for this matchup. O'Malley hasn't been around in a while. It's time we saw some action from O'Malley. Oh, this is a good fight. Lex, welcome to be back, dude. What's going on, Trez? How you feeling tonight? Oh, man, I'm excited. I think we got a great night of action going on over here. It's kicking it off for us this first fight. Uh, Sean O'Malley, again, dude, always brings the heat. Very creative. 10-0, huh? Nice. 10-0. Minus a, 370? He's a hell of a striker. Kid, uh, again, he he he's always mixing it up. He's kind of like how... Uriah Faber, he's just inventing things up as he goes along. You know, he's got the physical ability. And then uh, he's in against a tough opponent tonight, man. This dude's a banger as well. So um, here we go. They're about ready to hit it off. Guys, they are about ready to ring. UFC 248 fight conversations were on the way. We're still in the prelims right now, but this is the main event of the prelims. We had some interest in this fight, so we started it up early just to watch Sean O'Malley come back tonight. Woo, O'Malley knocked down from O'Malley with a with a kick to the body, straight kick to the body, solar plexus has Quinones uh, down and then back up, but he's using that he's using that rear uh, straight kick to the body of the solar plexus like a jab, big kick to the body too. I mean to the leg by O'Malley. So kid's already setting a good pace. O'Malley working the outside. You got some good feints going on. Game Quinones, though, he's standing right there just looking to find a shot. There he throws a right hand. A little, little, little trash was talked between these guys. O'Malley said he's more Mexican. Quinones was not happy about that. He is definitely trying to show some pride tonight. He is controlling the center of the ring right away. That'll get a, that'll get a Mexican heated up over there. Oh yeah, damn well. Especially when you got an Irish boy with corn bros. Uh, <laughs> Tom more Ross Mexican than you. Hey, but hey, you know the Mexican style is not only for Mexicans. It is the heart of the warrior and the never die spirit inside uh, any kind of fighting circumstance. So both these guys seem to possess that. So far, these guys are feeling each other out. O'Malley on the outside, Quinones dominating the inside, some leg kicks back and forth, feigning some strikes. Nice body strike by O'Malley. He's moving around. He's got his hands down. He's, he's trying to get his momentum going a little bit here with his uh right now he's putting some moves like he's feeling like he's got that Saturday night fever, baby. He's got he's trying to get his timing down to try to land something. Well, as it ooh, nice there straight light hand. See, I'm, that's what I'm talking about. O'Malley will lower you to sleep with that dancing, then throw something. As he throws Quinones down and kicks him to the head with the... Oh, oh there he goes. He's all over him. Quinones is dug for cover, and it's over. O'Malley has returned. There we go. That's why Ooh, we came bam. in quick. That's why we wanted to make sure we were running for this fight, baby. It happens We knew we saw fast. it coming, right? Yeah, O'Malley. Woo! Man, he's just hitting like he's a... He, he's, wow. Kids is hitting like he's a swarm of bees right there. You hit him with that head kick, he caught him, and that was the beginning of the end. Boom! A little that, that was a little throw down a, right kind, there. Kind of a Here hook, it is. Boom. Hook right hand. But that kick, that kick, and then he's just on top of him, and he's fast, and you cover up hammer, hammer fist and just swarm him with that hammer fist. And, and looking at the replay, all right, now that that he he hit him, he kind hit of him like good. A hook throw. Kind he of he deal. hit him, but he kind of cuffed him. But then he came in, he got him with that heel, with that kick. That just set him up for the timing for that it, kick. It, his his bell was rung, and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, you know, that wasn't like that one that like knockout that knockout strike. But what that did, that caused pain. We're old boy. It, 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 that's just the right decision to do for the ref because he was going to tie up. There's no fighting out of that. Oh, that kid until hurt him. O'Malley gets yeah. Until that O'Malley kid hurt gets there, big time, 100. percent That was he a was bell in a bad spot. O'Malley tracked his timing as he threw him to the ground. He come back up just right into that kick. Get him and with after, it. After that, a bunch of hammer fists. The ref did the right thing to stop that one. Welcome to fight conversations. That was a quick one. Sean O'Malley is back. Sugar Sean O'Malley. Boo he bam. It tonight. Yeah, he he showed that sugar. He showed that. He should, you know what he showed? That that was that sugar on that cinnamon toast that you make, and, and and it melts with the butter. You get that sugar melting with the butter, 
and then you get it on your skin and it's like fucking napalm that's what he was he was like sugar napalm over there all over old boy quick fast you know he moved around creating those angles boo bam sugar sean o'malley 100 percent hey what's happening justin what's that thanks man Appreciate the love, dude. Welcome to the fight family. Let's get this fight conversation going tonight. Who do you think is going to win the main event, Justin? You going for Adesanya or you got Romero? What do you got out there? Who are you? Who you got, Trez? What's your pick tonight? You know, I'm. We didn't get to do a, a a video leading up to it this week. You know, Las Vegas keeps us extra busy, but we're here tonight for you guys, and we'll talk about it right now in between this intermission. Me, who I have on my on on my jammy jam over here, I've been going against conventional wisdom, man. I've been going against that a, quite a bit. I've been taking the dogs on our picks. You know, I, yeah, I love yeah, a good yeah. underdog fight, and I'm kind of torn on this one again. You know. I just I'm just looking at the way um, each guy has been on the big show and how they've performed. All right. How they performed before at the big show where Romero has come up short. I think that's a Got pattern a here. I think that's a pattern. So I'm going to go at Asanya. I think he's going to go distance. I think he's going to go. And I, we got I think that's the most likely scenario. You know, I mean, if we were just going to say what's going to happen in in terms of, you know, but, we're we're also no betting involved, right? No numbers, no no pay, no yeah. no no money involved at all. I would have to say Adesanya, and the way that he fights, he's probably going to try to stay away from Romero and just earn a lot of earn a lot of strikes. He's a kickboxer, so I would say that he's going to try to win this fight by going the distance and outlasting Romero. I don't I don't see him getting a knockout of Romero. He's got to stay away, but that gives Romero a lot of opportunity. Because now he's got five rounds to land that one shot. Or if he decides to wrestle, if Romero decides to wrestle, he could really make this a lot closer tonight. Yeah, no, and I, I agree with you on that. And I will say this. I love throwing out that curveball. love throwing out the old caveat on things. Uh, we are approaching. Uh, we're getting into a full moon. Energy is different. Some people got different energy. Sometimes it happens. It might show up. It might show up. Uh-oh. Oh, we got something for a future fight over here. Uh, Joanna versus Zhang. Uh, you know, here's one thing. Here's I think one I'm thing. feeling Wei Li. You, you thinking Wei Li? You know what? Um, I, a lot of people have been saying that. My, uh, our good buddy, who's, who's hopefully we're going to see him here tonight, Gabe Castillo. Uh, Gabriel, he's been saying. What up, Gabe? Shout out to Gabe. Um, yeah, Gabe. He said that uh, he, he was going Zhang. He's big on her, um, thinking that uh, old old girl. Old girl, uh, 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 Joanna might be a little long in the tooth now. Might be, might might be the 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 rail the rail car might be going downhill now. Um, I don't know. There's such a margin. There's such a margin over here of uh, of of people. You know, there's I mean of uh, of of error to win and lose in a fight. You know what I mean? Um, but I think I think. I think it's a good call to go Zhang. I think that I think she's uh, she's bringing that heat, and I I, I think that uh, we've seen we we've seen uh, Joanna um, get dealt with when the, when the heat gets turned on, you know, especially with some power. So, I mean, I haven't seen Wei Li fight before, so I mean, for me, this is more of a scouting situation. In terms of uh, Romero, I definitely would love to see him try to take it to the ground early and make it a ground fight. We got Joe in the house. What's up, Joe? What's Welcome up? to Fight Conversations. Welcome to the Fight family. Welcome back. You've been Joe. a member for a long time. Welcome into the situation tonight. We got it cracking. We are ready. Who's your pick tonight? Yeah, who do you got tonight, uh, Here we Joe? go. He got some picks already. He's putting it up there. Joe knows how we do it. Okay. To close and Zane. Okay. Oh, he's feeling it. He's feeling, I'm feeling it. it. See, I'm telling you, Wei Lee. Wei Lee looks good and... and I, I like the way she's responded. I like that shut up that she gave. She gave Joanna. I was feeling that. So I don't really know. I, the, the, the I've intimidation been Joanna factor for a long time. The intimidation factor seems to be gone with Joanna. That that's gone with Joanna right now. She's, right. That she was overdoing it with that anyway. You know. Yeah. She's. That's what I was. That's she, she, that's she, what she turns was, me she, off. She was better when she was just you know fighting like uh just a just a hard nosed hard working. I think fighter. it works I like better. I, I, think I think it's a better sell. Better. I think it's better sell when you're stoic. I think it's better when you're just humble. 
and you're like, yo, I have to work in. I'm going to show you what's up. Like, you know how to yeah. fucking do no talking because talk is cheap when it comes to fighting. Fuck yeah, 100%. Let, 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 your, let your action show what's up when you get into the ring, you know? And and to do a lot of promising and a lot of bullshit, I don't like that. I think you just I think you just go in there and, and think, you know, whatever happens, I'm, I'm ready, I'm prepared. And that's pretty much what Wei Li's saying. I like that. Yeah, yeah, no, that, I, I resonate more with that. You go in there, you do that bang, bang, boogie, and you let the hands do the talking, you know? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I haven't really watched Whaley enough to say that. She's definitely seems super confident in her hands. She's definitely got to reach this advantage, it would seem like. She seems like the more compact fighter. Joanna is very good at using the reach. The question is, is what's going to happen? I mean, Joanna's been doing the whole... All right, so she was the champion for like three years straight. She's pretty much not been the champion for the last three years. Over the last three years, she's got a boob job. She's been on Instagram all the time. Is she really focused to come back and win this championship tonight? Or is just just an attempt that she's going to fall short? We'll see. That's what, It's exciting. We want to see it tonight. Yeah, she got she got comfortable with the silk sheets. The boob job. The, yeah, man, I'll tell you what, bro. Yo, she, Whaley she, was making fun of her. She, she was like, oh, I'm going to hit it like this. She, she, did the yeah. double, she did the double boob squeeze That's motion. Great. But I'm going to tell you, man, I've known some pretty some pretty cool, humble chicks, dude. And then they get tits, man, and they fucking change, bro. That shit changes bitches, dude. Oh, yeah, no, 100%. No offense. Sorry, sorry, but, you know. 100%, you know. It, it changes brats. It, it, I'll be I'll it, fuck it, bitches. Don't some change shit. is going to happen because some change happened already because that was changed to, to begin with. Yeah, no, man. You right? some, that, that was a change. You, get, you just give them a little rack of lamb there and they start acting like they all hoity-toity. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I like Wei Lee. I agree. You know, I, I think trash talk definitely has more of an effect, you know, um, when done properly. Conor McGregor's trash talk has definitely worked at times. I've seen trash talk work, but it has to be done the right way. Some trash talk's effective. Some trash talk isn't. I didn't see Joanna's best, trash talk be effective at all. I think the best way to deal with trash talk uh, is is to give those to give those things where they're like they're the backhanded compliments. You know what I mean? Like those things that got you questioning what. Uh, you know what, what? Like, are you do, are you training hard? You know, like you could kind of throw out little things like, "Oh man, you look good." Like you you might make weight this time. You know, like just the little barbs. You know, this little things that kind of like it's like, "Oh, dude, what the hell is this dude talking about?" I'm on weight. You know, it's, it's, it's just those little things in the back of the head, like Arnold Schwarzenegger used to do in competition. He'd be like, "Oh man, dude," and like in like a week's time, dude, you're gonna look shredded. And when the dude was shredded, he's like, "Ah, oh, I don't look shredded." You know, like fucks with their head, dude. You know, get them out of their game. I like a little trash talk. And this last fight with O'Malley, he, he started the trash talk. He said he was more Mexican. So is he going to come out in his post interview See, and say he's more Mexican? I, I mean, depending on how he uh, depending on how he does it, I think that's a great way to come out and in, into. In, in uh, See, now that's the kind of trash talk that could be useful because now you got the other the other fighter looking to to attack you, maybe do things and leave himself open and vulnerable mm -hmm. by taking some risks that he wouldn't take to prove. That he's something that you just called him out on. See that that no yeah, trash yeah. talk could be useful. No, see, uh, Justin, just, exactly. It, it's a, exactly it. That's a, it's a it's a it's a psychological warfare, you know. And there's different ways. There's different ways of going about it. There's different ways guys do it. Oh yeah, I forgot about. It. We got the boxing going on. We got over boxing there. going on too. We got it on back here. Oh yeah, Who we, we got. got uh, this has been a this has been a lopsided fight uh, over here by. Uh, it looks like it. Yeah. Al Jagba versus like Al Jagba is holding it down. Kunjanu, but yeah, we're uh, I, I'll be I'll be keeping you guys posted out there if you're watching the the Kawanaki and uh, heinous fight or heinous fight, the heavyweight fight. That should be a rock'em sock'em deal over here. Yeah, everybody, make sure. UFC. Well, uh, real quick, everybody, make sure that you subscribe or that you understand what we're, we're gonna do tonight. Is we're gonna stop. In between the fights, we're going to reset it. Pretty much, I think, 7 o'clock is when the main card is going to start. So we're going to be here discussing things, fight conversation style, fight talk 24-7 on Twitter and Instagram style with you until 7 o'clock. Then we're going to restart the stream. So just jump right back in with us. Make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't have any problems finding us. Boo, bam. Felder. Felder is back on the announce table. You know, I have to say this. It seems that Felder's face healed up pretty quickly. It did. 
right? I mean, seriously, he seems like nothing happened at all. He was he was looking he he was looking like a, a a sack of plums over there. Should have pressed on the gas tank a little bit more, bro. You know, at the end of the day, he's back to normal. And then that last two minutes, he could have just pressed the gas tank a little more. You know, yeah. I think what they were saying was Duke on the on the on the from his corner was really trying to get him to throw throw more and have more output at the end. And I think he just. He did himself no favors by by shortening up on the output at the end because that was the big difference. And Hooker got those that that last takedown that was huge over there whooping that horse. What up, Gabe? What's going on? We got people. We got the fight family. Gabe showing Castillo up. over here with the fight conversations. Fight family in the house. Okay, yeah. Okay. So here here he is. He's coming. coming he's coming in, he's coming in with the bullpen. You, you, go ahead. Tell him. No, go, go for it, bro. It's it, you're, you're, you're gonna hear from the mouth. What was itself. your prediction, Gabe? Zhang is gonna KO Joanna Young Jacek. Second round, the first half of the second round. Too much pressure, too much power. Joanna's got too many miles on her, and it's not her fault. Five years ago, it'd have been a better fight, but she's just, just she's gonna get slept tonight. We were we and we were talking about we, we hey, Gabe. We were also talking about she got them some new them new fun sacks put in. Yeah, yeah, we don't think that. that helps at all. They're going to change but that Gabe, psychology. Gabe, Gabe's been pretty on point the last couple of uh, UFCs with his picks. Hey, look, they have uh, Gerald Marshall over here. He ate that one. It looks like he got the win tonight. Yeah, Gerald is a tough customer. He ate that shot. He walked through that shot, and he, he looks, has look what he's chasing this guy around the ring. Oh, we missed this one. This yeah. was... This was uh this is definitely one I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch. You know, he has shout out to Gerald Mearshart yeah, for the I, win tonight. I'll say he has one of the prettiest, one of the one of my favorites because of the the loud baseball bat pop, uh body shot kick KOs to the left. Oh yeah, we'll never forget that one. Shout out to Jeremy with SEG. We attended uh Gerald Mearshart's fight. He got that liver kick KO. That was fantastic. Yeah, the old fun sacks. We'll put that up there. She got those fun sacks. You got that right. Are those fun sacks going to do any good tonight? Are they going to help her to win this fight? I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so. No, you know, um, I, one of the fight, one of the things I was looking at, if I'm not mistaken, Neil Magny is an underdog. Uh, that, Plus 150. I like Neil Magny tonight. That could be just because you know how Neil Magny, dude, that guy's a workhorse and he's, you know, he, he, he fights at a high level. <clears throat> he might be able to pull off that upset win. I think that's something to look at. Yeah, I, li I like Neil Magny tonight. I think there's some good underdogs, some good value on the card tonight. I mean, you got a, a, a champion in Young Jacek at a, at, a, at a plus number. So, I mean, that's that's some good value right there. I mean, anytime you can get a coin flip between a current and a past champion at a high number, it's worth a shot. This is fighting. It could always take one shot. And Romero, how could you not like Romero? If Romero... You know, ducks under some strikes and goes right to, to maybe uh, some grappling right away. This could be a different fight. Yeah, it, it, but you know, I'm sitting here looking at. I Look forgot. At Felder. Wow. But, but I forgot real quick. I forgot how tall Adesanya is over Romero in this. Like, and you know, can he keep that reach? Is he gonna? Is he gonna fight like John Jones? S. You know, that kind of creative striking from the outside angles. Is he going to use it to That's his advantage? That's what he's got to do. The is question it, is, can he maintain that? Does he do that going forward? Does he do that going back? Well, you go yo, back, the, I think you end up on your back because of Romero's wrestling. Well, let, let's, his, let's throw in, in, his ground game let's throw in something else here, right? Let's throw in Latino pride because Romero has been called out on the pride level also. He's been called old. He's been told this is his last shot around. He's been told that, you know, I'm going to make my legacy by running you over. I mean, Romero's a prideful guy. This is a lot on the line. Romero, everybody didn't think he could make weight. He made weight no problem. I think he's very focused, and making weight tells me that he's in a good mind frame for this fight. Well, his explosiveness is always going to be a problem for anybody, and no matter how crafty, because when you're an explosive fighter, you just it, it's an instinct when you it's a feel when you have those openings and you just burst right into and I it, he's got that you know and it, as we were mentioning before and just a it, you know off a camera conversation um, off the record as far as it comes with um, 
uh, uh, Romero, he he will get in those lulls, but then he just bam, dude. He's just a powder keg of uh, of explosion with a combination or a move or something that's like you know really disrupts the the rhythm and puts things you know potentially back in his favor. Yeah, I think if he also within that mixes in a little bit of grappling, he'll be in a great position to get this win tonight. Say he goes for one of those explosive, you know, shots and he misses, and then he has the opportunity to grab a leg and he tries to take, you know, a double leg or a single leg and then work something from the bottom. I think his ground and pound game could really get him a quick stoppage tonight. If he gets a hold of Adesanya on the ground, I think that Adesanya, I mean, Romero is, is a lot more compact of a guy. That length that is so good with King Kickboxing might not be so great when you got a compact Romero on top of you, raining down elbows. He might have a lot of trouble with Romero on the ground. Yeah, man. Um, you know, and then here, uh, you know, here we go. Or the undercard, uh, you know, fights. They're 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 beefing them up. They're hyping them up. They're getting everybody fired up on this. You know, uh, Wei Lee looks good. She looks fast. She looks focused. She definitely has the right mindset. I'll tell you right now, she's definitely strong-minded, and that's important when it comes to the fight game because so much of this comes down to your mindset. Will she get tested tonight by Joanna? I don't know because Joanna, she seems, in my mind, she seems to be trying to convince herself with all this trash talk that she's talking. You know, she's trying to talk herself into believing what she's saying, affirmation style, and we saw how that worked yeah. with Deontay. Well... <laughs> it, you know, well, that, well, that, that's my conversation. That, that's Deontay Wilder trying to come back. But real quick, I just want to go side note on your totally separate. Uh, well, I meant before topic. that fight. Before oh, yeah. that fight. No, but uh, before the last fight, he was saying the same shit. Oh, yeah. No, he's I promise to... you. What is Joanna saying? I promise you. I don't like that. I promise you shit. Don't fucking promise nothing. Yeah, just no, get out to... there and make it happen. No, that's that internal talk you need to keep going. Yeah, yeah on I about. don't like that. But uh, we were talking about Felder, you know, healing up. Old boy does have that blasted out eye, though. He's that the bloodshot all up in that eye. Uh, uh, on that right side, so you can't say you, you can say it's from that. Maybe he looked like he was holding in Felder a sneeze. Felder is one tough <laughs> son of a bitch. I just think that you know he didn't do himself any favors by putting up a picture of a hooker and and likening that to Dan Hooker and and waking up the beast and Dan Hooker. That didn't do him any favors. And if he was gonna do that, he had to come all the way hard with it and and go all the way to the end with it and and keep fighting like like you know he was backing that up, that trash talk, like he really wanted that belt. But in my opinion, I think that he looks more comfortable over here on the set. You know, I like Paul Feller. I think he's a good fire. I think he's a good analyst. Maybe this is a better look for him. Yeah, man. Well, and, and also, I mean, when it's in the back of your head, after you take a beating, you know, it's not a good it, If it's in the back of your head, it, it, you, you know, after a beating, you said, or, you know, you say it out loud that was in the back of your head during the, during the fight or before the fight. If you take this loss, you might you're probably going to retire, you know, so he may have already gone in there somewhat mentally. That's defeated. terrible. Even having that in your mind going in there like that. No, you can't even have that in there. You know, it was I like, disagree with that. I don't like that at all. You know, and that that could have that could have played in. But hey, guys, there's Romero. We're I in think, the building. I think we're making that transition right now. We're going to be swapping over. Uh from the from to the pay-per-view so uh i think we're gonna end this transmission we're gonna fire it up on the next one yeah and, make uh, sure you jump right back in i think we're logging it right back should only be uh just you a, know just a minute or two yeah. so make sure you subscribe to the fight conversations page here whether you're watching on youtube or on facebook because we got the the main card coming up sugar Sh shane o'malley just to recap sugar shane o'malley is back he won the main event of the prelims that just happened on UFC 248. And now it's time to switch over to the pay-per-view. We're going to be watching the pay-per-view and streaming it. The stream is going to start right back up. Stay with us. We'll see you right back in a minute.